everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big, and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got all the tools for you right here. We're going to get into some, to some Major League Baseball picks for June 12th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section right here, which has all these tools that I'm going to show you. Well, not all of them, but some of these tools here to help you make your picks. So, Major League Baseball is only about a month away from the All-Star break, so it's that narrow territory for teams to start ramping up their game in preparation for postseason later on in the season. So let's take a look at some of these games for June the 12th. First game we want to look at is Colorado Rockies and the Boston Red Sox. Colorado comes in ice cold down, losers of their last four and two and four over their last six, while Boston is dead stats there, one and five over their last six, and neither team playing good ball of late. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the line. You see here Colorado under in uh, three out of their last four, while Boston has been involved in these over the line in their last three. The score predictor has Boston by a 6-4 to four score with a little bit better chance than a toss of a coin at 51%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Boston is at plus 11 right now, and Colorado is at plus 8. You can see there are Plus three, excuse me. Colorado has been down near the bottom of the league for quite some time now. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent have the two teams been with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see Colorado extremely stable now. They were uh, pretty stable earlier in the year at plus eight. Then they dipped for a while down to plus two. But over the last uh, three weeks or so, they have been extremely stable. And now they're at plus 13, while Boston has been very inconsistent at minus one. So in the end, the way I'm looking at this game is I'm liking Boston at home, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. San Francisco and St. Louis. In this one here, the Giants come in winners of their last three. They are burning hot, while the Cardinals are dead up just one win out of their last six games. The score predictor has San Francisco by a 10-5 to 5 margin with a high level of confidence of 79%. And interesting that it's a prediction of a high-scoring game, considering the fact that um, teams have been trending in games mostly under the line over the last 12 combined. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, see San Francisco in the upward trend since June 6th. They were at plus 11. Now they have climbed to plus 18. And you see that St. Louis mostly on a downward trend since June the 2nd. They were at plus 7 at the time, and now they are at plus 1. In the head-to-head -head matchup for this year, you've seen the first three or excuse me, the first four meetings, San Francisco won three out of the four at home, losing only the series finale. And the stability factor, neither team has been very consistent, particularly St. Louis. You see, they were plus five back on um, April the 30th, and they have dipped. They've just been very inconsistent since then. They're now down, down to minus five. So in the end, I like the Giants in this one. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. Let's go the Giants and over the line. This will be the matchup of the day. This, the Angels and the Rangers in this AL West battle, you can see both teams have been playing very good ball. Uh, Los Angeles winners of their last four. And Texas, although they are coming off of a loss, they are 5-1 and one over the last six. And burning hot versus burning hot down. The over-under, Los Angeles has been involved in under the line three out of the last four. Uh, Texas, two out of the last three. So they've both kind of been trending in games under the line as of late. Uh, the score predicting, predictor has it a lower scoring game as well. 6-2 in favor of Texas with confidence in prediction that just a tad under 72%. On the power ranks indicator, look at uh, Texas. They've been up near the top of the league ever since the end of May. And they're still there steady at plus 29. While the Angels have climbed from plus 10 up to plus 19 over the last two weeks. Head to head, the, the teams uh, met earlier this year, about a month ago, beginning of May, with uh, the Angels winning one and Texas winning two on the road. And the two games that Texas won, you see, were blowout fashion, 16 to eight and 10 to one. If you look at the stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Texas extremely so at plus 15, while uh, the Angels are at plus 7. So in the end, I think uh, I like Texas here. I think the trend will continue with Texas. 
I think Texas will win, but I'll pass on the over under bet. The next game we want to look at is Miami and Seattle. Miami comes in very playing very good ball. You see burning hot winners of their last six. While Seattle is ice cold down just two and four over their last six. If you look at the over under Miami over in four of the last six and Seattle over in three of the last four. So uh, it's a good it's a good trend right now for over the line. But the score predictor has it, you know, a seven to three score. The line has not yet been put up. But that's probably not going to be an over the line number with just 10 runs. And the confidence, confidence in the prediction is a pretty high 76 percent. If you look at the the power ranks indicator, Miami has climbed from plus 15 to plus 26 during this streak, while Seattle at the same time period was at plus 15, but now they are down to plus 9. If you look at the stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, Seattle at 8 and Miami at 7 on the team volatility oscillator. In the end, I like Miami to continue the hot streak, and I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So let's go with Miami and over the line. The last game we want to look at is the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Phillies are coming in burning hot, winners of five out of their last six games after struggling for much of the first part of the season, while the Diamondbacks are also burning hot. They are winners of four out of their last six games and winners of their last two. The over-under, you can see the teams have been involved in games over the line three of the last six, both teams. Um, when that happens, I try to, I pretty much tend to avoid betting the over-under. And particularly here with the score prediction, 5-4, only 34% level of confidence in the prediction. So take a look at that the closer it gets to game time to see if anything has changed with that regard. On the power ranks indicator, Arizona was at the top for you know a, a little bit of a period of time for, here for about a week. Um, and now they have dipped a little bit, but they're still up at plus 23. While well, the Phillies were down as well as plus three just five days ago, but the recent winning streak propelled them up to plus 17. In the head-to-head -head matchup earlier this season, just a few weeks ago, it was Arizona winning two out of three in Philadelphia. And let's see the stability factor. Both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Philadelphia at plus eight, Arizona at plus six. I think this is a Phillies game. I think the Phillies will reverse the trend against Arizona. Let's take the Phillies in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for April, or excuse me, April. Yeah, not April anymore, for June the 12th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.